Uh, welcome back to part two of the Python Google API weather API tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off last time and work on our class. So basically, um, last time we stopped right about here. Uh, we created a basic class with two uh, functions, one constructor, one um, name show XML, which basically downloads the XML data and and um, prints prints the XML and to show you what it does let's actually call it w dot show XML and let's run it and you can see that all it does is just jump dump the XML data raw XML data now what we what we're going to do today is actually use start picking out some data from this XML and parse it. And in order to parse it, we're going to use um, a built-in module from Python, and it's called XML dot dom dot mini dom. And this. Um, So basically what we just did is the we imported a, a module named XML DOM mini DOM and we gave it an alias of X DOM just to make it easier to, for us to write it. So now we're going to create a function. Um, we're going to create a function that will um, start getting data for us, start parsing it actually. Okay, so now we're going to start using the xdom module, the mini dom module, and we're going to say xdom dot parse uh, parse string, and we're going to put in our raw XML data, which should be self dot w data. And then now what we want to do is get the current conditions um, of the inputted location. So th this XML contains one um, one tree that has all the information on the current forecast. So we want to get that. So we're going to say current conditions equals x data dot get elements by tag name and this is um, if you're familiar with XML DOM or HTML um, th that method should be familiar to you so we're going to select um, we're going to say get elements by tag name and we're going to select the current conditions um, tag which contains all the data we'll, that we want So now, um, let's say if we wanted to get um, the current temperature, we would select temp f, which is the 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 tag that's holding the current temperature. So in order to get that, we're going to use some traversing. We're going to say current condition zero, and we say zero is because um, the current condition is the first tag in this tree. So it would have an index of zero because well almost every element is like an array so if there were multiple tags with current condition then they would be labeled zero one and so on so now we're going to select all child nodes within the current conditions um, and then which child node depends on what you want to get in this case we want to get temp f data so that's the first index or the second element or the second child but since the array starts from zero um, 
that node would be 1 right there and now we want to get the temperature, the actual temperature which, which is stored in an attribute so we're going to say get attribute I know you can't see it on the screen, sorry basically it says get attribute data and then we're just going to simply print temp f and hopefully we'll get it and let's compile or just run it, no need to compile and there you go, we got 94 and let's check that with the actual XML and there you go, it says 94 and we successfully managed to extract data from our XML and we're going to continue this on the next tutorial to get more data and finish up the class